Good morning, everybody. How are y'all this morning? My name is Carrie, and I want to thank y'all so much for joining me for my very first live that I'm going to be streaming to more than just my YouTube channel. If you are joining me from YouTube, be sure to leave me a comment. And if you're joining me from my Facebook page, let me know that. Or if you're joining me on Twitch, which is my very first time to go live on Twitch, be sure to let me know that as well. I hope y'all got your coffee ready. I'm so sorry. I was just a few minutes late. I was in the process of opening up all of my colors and I'll have gotten it on my lip a little bit. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I've got these awesome new colors from Arteza. Let me show you the box. Look, we're going to be playing around with these colors today. These are the brand new vintage colors. They are gorgeous, gorgeous colors. And I've never used them before. Like I said, I just actually opened them. If I have paint on my lip, I'm so sorry. They are a little bit hard to get that little tab off to, to get into those paints. But once you do, it's super easy. So are y'all ready to get started? Have you got your coffee? Let me know where you're coming from. Where do you live? Are you watching me from YouTube or Twitch or from Facebook? Let me know. Okay, Debbie. My birthday was absolutely amazing. The wedding was beautiful. I'm actually in the process of editing that video now. I cannot wait to share it with y'all, but I'll admit I did get a little bit emotional <laughs> when I'm editing that video because oh, there were many, many happy tears shed. It was an awesome time. Oh, I can't wait for y'all to see that video. Good morning, Jennifer from Iowa. How are you? Hey, Gail Franklin. Thanks so much for watching me on Facebook. Y'all, this might actually be my very first time to go live on my actual Facebook page, too. Good morning, Lila. Well, Mary, you are exactly right. <laughs> I think it's blue. Can you see? Y'all, these colors are absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to swap over. This is my first time to use this Restream software. So if I drop the stream. I'm so sorry, but I'm going to attempt to move this stream over to my craft table. Let's see if I can do this without. Ah! Can y'all see that? If you can, leave me a comment below. Good morning, Patricia Williams from Texas. Boasting Fry from Facebook. Thanks so much for joining. Good morning, Raquel. Good morning, Debbie. Good morning, Heather. Good morning, Carol. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Kimberly. I'm so happy y'all are joining me. Good morning, Trisha from Nashville. Good morning, Anna from Atlanta. How's everybody doing today? Have y'all got your coffee ready? Okay, so this is what I've got planned for this cute little turkey. And y'all, I admit, I bought this turkey last year. I had no idea what I wanted to do with it. But as soon as I saw these gorgeous vintage colors, I just knew I wanted to paint him to look like this. Um, look at those colors. They are so vintage and gorgeous. But a while back, I'd seen this cute little turkey on, I think maybe Pinterest. And he had sort of these vintage colors. Let me see if I can find a picture of that really quick and I'll show you. So the, this is what my inspiration is going to be. Can y'all see that? Isn't he adorable? I'm going to do black and white, a lot of black and white, because that's that's totally my jam. I'm going to throw in a little bit of buffalo check at the very end. So just hang around with me and let's get started painting. So I'm going to start off first by painting his little body. And y'all, I've just found these brushes from Royal and Langnickel, and they may possibly be my favorite brushes ever. They're just stiff enough so that your brush doesn't lose its shape. Good morning, Keisha. Y'all, if y'all are not following my girl Keisha over at Sweet Urban Rose on YouTube, you are totally missing out. She is my girl. I'm just going to wet my brush a little bit. How was y'all's weekend? Mine went by way too fast. 
I'm going to admit this to y'all, but I am totally wiped out from this wedding. Like that wedding was beautiful. My son, if you don't follow me on YouTube, my son just got married and the wedding was beautiful. His wife is absolutely gorgeous. And y'all, she's the sweetest thing that I've ever seen in my life. I just love, love, love her. I actually set the two of them up. But I did all of the cakes and a lot of the decorating and y'all, I'm just exhausted. It took me literally all last week to recover. So I did go ahead and sketch this out with my pencil. So I'm going to be covering up some of it, but I'm going to try to leave my pencil marks there. And y'all, even though this is unprimed wood, like get a load of how great these colors cover. It's only going to take one coat of this. And y'all, I admit, I'm so bad about buying these little unpainted signs from Dollar Tree. I buy every one that comes out, but I probably only paint about 50% of them. I always seem to run out of time. Thank you so much, Sandy. I, I'm telling you, I, I used all last week to rest and recuperate and just sort of get my my batteries recharged, I guess. Like when you get exhausted like that, your body just sort of shuts down and says, hold up, sister. So I definitely needed that. But now I'm ready to get started. But I, I, I just can't get into Christmas just yet. It's too early. I know so many people that have their trees up and I'm like, okay, can the turkey just have his day, please? So the, this color brown that I'm using is called Cocoa Brown. I'm just going to get this main color on first. Painting is sort of like my therapy. It's my happy place. I'm not by any stretch of the means or the imagination a professional painter. I just enjoy it. It relaxes me. What's y'all's favorite thing to do to relax? I don't really relax very good, even though I live at the beach. Like, I don't take nearly as much time as I should over there. I just find it hard to relax. going to leave just a little bit of my pencil line showing, not much. I just want to be able to know where I need to outline. Y'all, it's hard to paint and try to keep up <laughs> with, with the comments. Oh my goodness. My computer is over to the side. Debbie, you like to make jewelry and crafts. I was into jewelry making for a long, long, long time. And I just kind of got out of it, but I do kind of miss it. Oh, that's my belly growling. Maybe I need to drink some of my coffee. I'm a black coffee kind of girl. What do you like in your coffee? Janie, I used to crochet when I was a little, little girl. I had a neighbor back in Mississippi that taught me how to crochet, but it's been years since I crocheted. But crocheting is kind of making a comeback. Okay, so while this brown, this cocoa brown, is still a little bit wet, I'm going to go back in after I paint this little edge. 
I'm going to go back in and add in some of this darker brown just for some shading. Even though it's, this is called Van Dyke Brown, even though it is um, sort of cartoony, I do want to add in shading. I just think that kind of helps to naturally bring things to life. And I just want to put a little bit where the shadows would be. I'm going to go back and outline everything anyway in my black. I think my garbage man just ran. I hear his truck. Oh, and I forgot his little piece right here. So I need to go back and do that. And when you're adding in your shading, if you want to take your main color and just sort of blend everything back in, that kind of helps it to not have such a dark contrast. You just want it to be slight. Oops. I have my little turkey colors all laid out here, so that's why it looks kind of crazy. So who's got their tree up? I want to know. Judy, I have not tried Wild Mountain Blueberry Coffee, but oh my goodness, I think I need to. I love me a blueberry muffin. Green Mountain got rid of my favorite one. It was like a some kind of nutty caramel something or another. I forget what exactly it was. So I'm... I'm kind of a little bit upset with them. Donut shop is usually my jam. Although my son had me drinking Death Wish or something while I was at his house in Texas. And that was pretty good too. Okay, I want to add a little bit more of this darker color. Just on this top edge. And then when it's all dry, I'm going to go back in with one of my Arteza acrylic markers. I like to use this for the black. It gives me a really nice crisp line and I don't really have to worry about the paint. Okay, he's looking pretty cute so far. So let's see what color I want to do next. I think I'll go in and paint his, this little beak. Is that called a beak? <laughs> Keisha, you were making coffee. I figured you were making coffee, girl. <laughs> Judy, you found that coffee on Amazon. I'm going to have to check it out. Okay, Mary, I'm glad you think it's too early for the Christmas tree, too. I do. I mean, I don't knock anybody that wants to go ahead and put theirs up, but for me personally, it's just a little bit too early. Okay, so this color is called Mustard Yellow. And y'all, this is so fun and so vintage. I love this color. It reminds me of the Harvest Gold color. Oh, can y'all hear my belly growling? It is angry this morning. Jennifer, I put mine up the day after Thanksgiving too. Now, I admit last year, my husband works offshore. So last year, I did go ahead and put my tree up early because he would not be home for Christmas. And it just did not feel right. Something was just like, it, 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 don't do that again. So this year, I'm holding off. I do have a couple of other Thanksgiving projects that I want to do. That's why I decided to go ahead and do my cute little turkey on a live. That way I wouldn't have to edit it down and I would get to catch up with all of y'all. I've missed y'all. Debbie, I know Lowe's had all of their Christmas stuff up so early and I'm like, oh my gosh, the poor turkey. He just can't have his day.
Mary, okay, yesterday I was outside. I had shorts on and it was like 100 degrees outside. It was so hot yesterday. It's kind of hard to get into the Christmas spirit when it's that warm outside. So I totally feel you. Judy, I know my my grandpa, he lives in Mississippi. He's 83 or 84. Can't exactly remember. But y'all, he puts up a Christmas light display that will blow Clark Griswold out of the water. Like he still gets on top of his roof and he does all of his lights. And now he's already started. He says he's too old to do it early, to do it at the last minute like he used to. So he does start early. But, yeah, he's like everybody in our whole neighborhood back in Mississippi loves his lights. Okay, so this is called terracotta. And I'm going to use this. What's this part of the turkey called? I forget. I'm not up to date on my turkey anatomy. Ruth Ann, it is snowing where you're at. Where are you at, girl? I'm not a snow girl. The, the cold makes my bones hurt. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I just, I can't do it. Yes, Judy, that's exactly what my papa does. He puts them up, but he doesn't he won't turn them on until the day after Thanksgiving. This terracotta color is beautiful. If you want to check out these Arteza colors, I uh, put the link to the Arteza website in the description box on my YouTube, but I could not find the direct link for this because they are so new. But if you just put in vintage, they'll pop up. I'm really excited to use that really pretty teal color. Y'all look at that. Oh, oh, this is the jade. Where did the teal? There's the teal. Oh. So pretty. It reminds me of back in the 80s. We used to make those friendship bracelets. Do y'all remember those? I had friendship bracelets in all of these like jewel tone colors. So this is really singing to my soul right now. Good morning, Elizabeth from Florida. What part of Florida are you from? Good morning, Shauna. I'm glad you're joining us. Joyce, you had a blizzard. Oh, my goodness. Oh, bless your heart. So I'm going to let his little face dry for just a few minutes. And in the meantime, I'll start working on his little feathers here. I'm going to paint these layers on um, just a little bit thinner than I normally would because I want to be able to see underneath it. I want to be able to see my zebra pattern underneath it. Uh, Ruth Ann, I believe the set of 20 paints was maybe like 20... $25 maybe, but I love the Arteza paints because I, usually I only have to put one coat versus having to put multiple coats with other brands. So that's why I really do love the Arteza colors. It saves me time and it saves me product. But I did paint this white on just a little bit sheer so I could see my zebra stripes. So I'm going to make my little zebra stripes kind of funky. 
I'm going to make them blue. And this color blue is called Ultra Marine. And I only need a little bit. My white may not be dry. Isn't that fun? Totally 80s. I may need to wipe, let my white dry just a little bit more before I do that. So while that's drying, I'll just move on to the next one. Okay, so for the little chevron stripes here, I'm going to go in with some wine red and some raspberry red. And usually I just sort of dip one of my brushes in my water. I don't like really wash them out very good. And I'll just wipe it on like a paper towel. And I will be going back and outlining everything in black. This wine color is beautiful. The thing about doing these types of projects, because it's sort of a whimsical look, you don't have to really worry about your lines being super straight. Like to me, the more wiggly and jacked up, the better. It just sort of makes it that much more whimsical. Like Mississippi State Burgundy. It's pretty. probably work better if I used a flat brush for this. So I think for the next color, I'll switch over to a flat brush. Okay, Debbie's giving me lessons on my turkey anatomy. I love it. Y'all are so knowledgeable. This is why I love y'all. It's always a learning experience. <laughs> y'all are amazing. Okay, so I have to tell you, my for my son's wedding, he wanted to do a mother-son dance. And I admit I'm not a dancer at all, but y'all, we danced to Rod Stewart's Forever Young. And now I cannot hear that song without bawling my eyes out. Ugh. If you've never really listened to the words of that song, like they're awesome and totally fitting. And while I was in Texas, I turned the big 45. I got to celebrate my birthday with my son and his new wife. And y'all, we just had a great time. I cannot believe I'm 45. And my son is a husband. Like, I'm still blown away by that. <laughs> Good morning, Denise. I'm doing great. The wedding was awesome. That's what I told them earlier. I am working on editing the video so that I can show y'all, but I get so choked up just from editing it. Like it's, it's tough. It's so hard. Yes. He's always going to be my baby. He's like, I don't know, six foot something. He's, he's really tall compared to me. So he makes me look like a little, a little tiny person. But we did, we had a great, great time. I'm excited to share the video with y'all. I'm hoping I'll get it done this week and I'm going to be able to premiere it on Sunday. That's my goal. Oh, that red's pretty. This sort of looks like the red that my daughter wore to the wedding. It was like a raspberry red kind of color. Really, really pretty. Oops. Look at me. 
So you can't edit that out when you're live. Y'all going live is kind of scary. I don't know if y'all realize that. <laughs> There's no editing when you're live. Oh yeah, definitely using that flat brush helps. Get those lines crisp. And y'all, this color is called raspberry red. Let me see if I can read some comments. Ruth Ann, you think I'm young? <laughs> oh my goodness, 45 does not feel young. You know, when you're a kid and like your parents are like in their 30s and you're like, oh my gosh, they're so old. And then when you get there, you're like, um, yeah, maybe they weren't so old. I think I want a lipstick in this raspberry red color. This is pretty. I did not practice this beforehand, y'all, because I only had one of these. So I hope it ends up as cute as it is in my head. Okay. Denise, I did take a lot of pictures. I didn't take as many videos as I had hoped that I would because literally I was putting on my acrylic nails as I was going to take pictures at the wedding. Like it was such a crazy, crazy time. I did not stop the whole week that I was there. Um, I made both the wedding cake and the groom's cake. And y'all, I'll be honest, I was exhausted. I was so tired. It was a ton of work to do in a week, but you know, that's what we do for our babies. Now, this green is not part of this vintage collection. This is actually part of the Vivid Colors collection from Arteza, but I just wanted that pop of color with the green. So I did pull this color out of that one. And this color is called apple green. Janie, you turned 60, girl. I bet you look amazing. You know, to me, age is just a number. I've never really felt my age to me. When I when I look at my husband and myself, I still feel like I'm like 18 again. So I'm, I really don't worry about age too much. I did have some people at the wedding that said, oh my God, we can't believe you're Tyler's mom. You look so young. <laughs> I attribute it to staying positive and happy. Don't let negativity consume you. Negativity makes you old and wrinkly. Stay happy and positive. Debbie, you think I'm still a baby? <laughs> Okay, so now this color is called olive green. Let's see what this looks like. I just want to put in a few little dots. I'm kind of digging this. Oh, 
I love to put a bright color with a dark color. I just think the contrast is fun. My dots are not the greatest in the world, but it's okay. We're just gonna keep going. He's a fun little turkey anyway. What do you think? How's it looking? Okay, let's see the next color. So I'm going to leave, I'm going to do this one, I believe, red, white, and blue because I love red, white, and blue together. And that happens to be my son's favorite colors together. His, his Grimm's cake, y'all, was an American flag, but he's also into snakes. So I did his own cake, and it was an American flag on this really old and rusty kind of aged looking um board that was actually cake and i made his favorite snake to go on the top i made his favorite snake out of modeling chocolate so he was so surprised when he saw it and he absolutely loved it so those sleepless nights of worrying about what to do for his cake were totally worth it to see his reaction. And my daughter-in-law loved her cake. If you caught me on one of my lives over on YouTube, you saw me do, I gave you a little sneak peek of the flowers for her cake and her cake turned out so pretty. So be sure you've got those notifications turned on on YouTube. So when I premiere that video, you won't miss it. I'm really digging that green there. I think I'm going to put this on my front door just for Thanksgiving. I have gone ahead and painted one of the little signs from the Dollar Tree that came in the three pack. And this is just the word thankful. I gave that a nice coat of black paint so that could already be dried. But that's kind of where I'm thinking I'm going to put this. <laughs> Patricia, 75 is not old. You're still a spring chicken. I love it. I look forward to getting older. That means you've got a lot of wisdom. I love sitting down with my memo and Peppa and talking to them and just hearing all the stories and whatnot that they tell. It just oh, makes my heart happy. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead with some crimson red and fill in here. And then after this dries, I think I'll go and put a tiny little line to separate the blue, blue and the red. But I've got to wait for that to dry. Heather, you just turned 41. Yay. Okay. And I'm leaving just a little bit of space here because I'm I'm going to put that white in between. So I don't really have to keep it like right next to each other. So that's why I'm not really worried about that. So y'all paint the signs from the Dollar Tree. I'm telling you, Dollar Tree has really stepped up their game lately with all of their craft stuff.
My problem is I have so much stuff already, so much craft supplies. I'll never get it all used. I'm a, I'm a hoarder. I'm a craft supply hoarder. If y'all could see my craft room, you would say, girl, you need an intervention. My poor hubby just does not understand. Okay, so we'll let that dry. And then, like I said, I'll go back in with the white and just define the lines a little bit. Okay, let me put this one back on the red. This is how I'll have to keep myself straight. Okay, so next, y'all know my favorite color in the universe, turquoise. So, of course, I had to make the biggest feather be turquoise. Actually, this one I might put in the my little dish. Another thing that you can do with these colors is you can mix these. So don't think you only are limited to these actual colors because you're not. These colors really blend so well. So you can really mix those up and make your custom colors. I don't know if I would necessarily call this color here turquoise. If I were in the mood to mix colors, I would probably put just a little drop of green in it. Because to me, this is more like a sky blue than a turquoise. And they cover just enough, but I can still see my design through here so that I won't need a second coat. Now, you could also, once you get this design outlined in pencil, if you wanted it to be a little bit darker and really show through, you could take a little Sharpie. And I'm not sure if the camera picks it up or not, but I can still see my design through here. So that's why I'm not really worried. Okay, so now I get to use this yummy teal color to make the swirls. And I do want the colors to sort of blend together, so I'm not going to wait for those, for the turquoise to dry. I want to go in while it's still a little bit wet. And just start working that color in. That's really pretty. Can y'all see that? Denise, I did get this turkey from the Dollar Tree. I picked it up earlier in the year. Um, I think it came out actually when the, um, the Halloween stuff came out. The main thing to do when you're painting is just have fun, y'all. It shouldn't be stressful. Like, painting is supposed to be relaxing. And if you do something and you don't love it, guess what? Just paint over it. Don't make it hard. Don't be hard on yourself if you think it looks terrible. Because one thing I've learned is most everything I do goes through what I call the ugly stage. Do y'all know the ugly stage? The ugly stage is when it's not quite turning out how you want it to until you do that one final step. And then you're like, oh, well, that looks kind of good. A lot of my projects go through the ugly stage. So don't think it has to be perfect.
What does that look like? I think I'm kind of digging it. Laura, you've been there. <laughs> I'm telling you, especially when I used to make cakes, like so many of my cakes would go through that ugly stage. I have had many of nights of staying up and completely exhausted from making cakes and go to bed hating the cake. And then when I get up in the morning to finish it, I'm in love with it. So. I really love these animal prints on here. I think this is a cheetah print, maybe. That's what we're going to go with anyway. We're going to call it cheetah print. I don't know really the difference between cheetah and leopard. I think leopard may have a few little extra pieces on the spots. Maybe cheetah is just like black spots. But don't quote me on that. Maybe it's the other way around. I don't know. Okay, so are y'all making any Christmas gifts this year? Are you going to hand make any Christmas gifts? Or what are you going to do? I normally do make Christmas gifts. Like if I love you, I make you things. And look, this color covered up so well that I can't even see my lines behind it. So we're going to really just kind of go with this one. Okay, now this is the Mars Black, and it was not in um, the vintage color set. It came out of the vivid colors. So just be aware that there is no black in this set. Thank you, Lori. He's kind of fun. He's kind of funky and fun. Okay, so let's just paint in some leopard spots or cheetah print. I think we called it cheetah. I don't know. I don't even know my name most of the time. Just going to make sort of like some little C's. That kind of looks like cheetah print to me. And again, the great thing is it does not have to be perfect. You're making wreaths, Lori? What kind of wreaths are you making? I've got a bunch of sunflowers from my son's wedding. And I know most people are not decorating for fall still, but I want to make a fall wreath with the sunflowers from their wedding. I think that would be so pretty. And it would just remind me of that special day every time I walked into my house. So I really think that's what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll give that to them as a Christmas present. <laughs> Jennifer, you do embroidery and you sew. Okay, I have an embroidery machine that was gifted to me. And I used it the year before last a lot. And this year I have not used it at all. It's good. My sweet baby girl just walked in the room. Hello. I like it. It's cute, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so for this next little chevron print, I think I'm going to do it red and white, but I'm going to do the white first. I'm trying to balance off the white and the blue here. So I'm going to do this white, and then I'll go back in after the white has dried and paint in my red. Thank 
you. I know I said it's kind of hard to read my comments and paint. Yeah. <laughs> I need my baby girl in here moderating for me. Oh, they're so cute. She's she's off from work today, so she's doing her nails. She is her mama's child. She's a DIYer too. She's like, oh, I'm not going to pay anybody to do my nails. I can do it myself. She usually keeps my nails done for me, but she's been so busy working two jobs that she has not had time. So I had to do my own this time. I almost got my white a little too thick, too. I can barely see my lines. Let's see if I can pull some of that off. He's a happy little turkey, isn't he? <laughs> I love him. He's so stinking cute. Okay, so now I want to go in with some of these yummy purples. This one is called lavender, and this one is called plum purple. I'll do the lavender first on the white. Stained glass ornaments with metallic paint and Epsom salt. Lois, that's going to be beautiful. I can't wait to see that. So I don't know if any of y'all are on Facebook, but if you are, I've got a Facebook group that I would love for you to join and share your crafts with us in there. We have a lot of fun. Everybody is so nice. The one rule is you have to be nice. If you're not nice, guess what? You get kicked out. So if you are looking for a fun and safe place that you can share your crafts, then definitely check out my Facebook group. It's called, um, what's it called? Dollar Tree Crafts Decor and More. I think that's what it's called. The link is in my description box. And again, my color is so thick and concentrated that I lost, I lost my design underneath. <laughs> We're just going to go with it though. I thought I had a little dauber. Pay no attention to that. Maybe I'll daub some dots on here. I don't use these little daubers enough. Do y'all use daubers? Ooh, that's pretty. I don't know if I love that, but I can always go clean it up with my paintbrush if I don't. I love the color though. This sort of reminds me of the Maker Studio color of the month that was for October. That's a really pretty color. Maybe I'll put some smaller dots too. There we go. I think I like it better with the small dots. See, it just went through the ugly stage right before y'all's eyes. <laughs> 
Debbie, I don't like ugly people either. That's why that that's the very first rule to my group is you got to be nice. If you're not nice, you get kicked out. It takes it costs zero money to be nice. All righty, let's see. I think I'll do the shamrock green across the whole thing and then I'll go back in with the jade green. Let's see which brush I want to use. I have an exorbitant amount of paint brushes. I kind of collect paint brushes like I do craft supplies. Yay, I'm so glad you're there, Lori. So you didn't have any problems finding it. Good. All right. And y'all, this is just like the beginning stages of this little turkey because once we start putting in all of his, um, the outlines, to me, that's when the paintings really start coming together. Those black outlines just make all the colors pop. And even if you're not, if you don't have a really steady hand when you're painting, it doesn't matter because those, the black lines are really going to make everything just blend. I think he's coming along cute. He's a happy little turkey. Thank you, Kathy. Kathy, you're a beginner, but let me tell you, you know what? Everybody starts somewhere. If you're not trying, then you're not growing. And if you're not growing, you're not make, you're not learning anything. So every day I learn something new. I told somebody at my son's wedding this weekend, I said, you know, I'm really not an expert. I just play one on YouTube. <laughs> I just try to have fun with everything I do. And y'all, I'm not afraid to try anything once. Like, you never know if you're going to be good at something if you don't try. So you've just got to have enough confidence in yourself to try it. This little guy is not going to be perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but I can look at him and say that I made him and he's perfect. Kathy, I believe in you, girl. You have got this. Cute, cute. All right, so we've got this one little guy left for the feathers, and I'll go back and paint in my blue zebra stripes. Who has ever seen blue zebra stripes except on this fun little turkey? Ooh, okay, this color is called Sunflower Yellow, and I'm digging this color. It's so pretty. Another thing that I really love about the Arteza colors are they dry really fast. So if you do have something that you think needs a second coat, you don't have to wait long at all. This yellow is really pretty. Thank you, Lisa. 
got all my YouTube people here. Like I said, when I first started, this was my very first time to stream to more than just one platform at a time. So I wasn't sure how that was going to work. But again, I wasn't scared to try. I love that color too, Kathy. That's called Sunflower Yellow. Now, I think I want to make this like a giraffe print. So I'm going to go in with this color that's called Yellow Ochre. And paint those giraffe spots. Isn't that fun? I really like that sunflower color. I may go and add in a few highlights on his little beak here. Just to brighten that up a little bit. What do y'all have planned this week? Any any fun plans? Maybe we should talk Thanksgiving. Do y'all make your Thanksgiving dinner? I'm going to my mamaw's house in Mississippi for Thanksgiving. And I'm going to be helping her cook. She taught me a couple of years ago how to make her dressing recipe. So... I had honestly thought about putting that as a video on my YouTube channel because y'all, Mamaw's dressing is the bomb.com. It is so friggin' good. And it's a cornbread dressing. Y'all know I'm from the South, so of course it's got to be a cornbread dressing. So who would want to learn how to make cornbread dressing? Let me know down in the comments. Okay, let's paint us a few little zebra stripes here. He is so funny. I love him, though. He's cute. Now, one thing I forgot to mention when I started was I did go ahead and cut the tag off of it. And I just filled this in with a little hot glue. So when I paint this, you won't be able to see it because I've got a different way that I plan on hanging him. Okay, what do we think? Oh, I've got to go back in and paint that. Just kidding, I thought I was done. I knew something looked off about that. Let's see if it's dry. Okay, this white is not quite dry, but when it is dry, I'm going to go back in and paint that with my crimson red. So I'll give that just a few more minutes. Lois, you're going to make stovetop stuffing. That is so funny. I'll send you some cornbread dressing. How about that? Debbie, I hate the cleanup too. I love to cook, but I hate to clean the kitchen. That's like my kryptonite. I hate it, hate it, hate it. So the top of my little turkey here, I want to paint him black and white. So I'll start off with the white first. When I get ready to paint the black, it'll go on a lot easier. It's easier to cover up a lighter color with a darker color than it is to cover up a darker color with a lighter color.
<laughs> send me your res your address, Lois, and I'll send that out to you. I will definitely do that video for my Memos cornbread dressing. I have really wanted to expand into cooking videos because y'all, I do love to cook. Sometimes it's really hard to kind of keep your creative juices flowing to try to find a craft that you think everybody will like. So if I could sort of fill that void with cooking videos for y'all, I would love to do that if y'all would like to see that. Kathy, my son's wedding was so awesome. I'm working on the video now, so I'm hoping it'll be done for Sunday to be released. If I can manage to keep my eyes dry long enough to get that finished. It's hard, y'all. They say raising kids is hard, but let me tell you, letting them go off and be adults is way harder. I would take them being little any day of the week. I've got some friends that have little babies and I tell them, don't wish them to grow up. Let them be little. Thank you, Denise. He's a happy little turkey. I think I might like this giraffe feather the best. It's so stinking cute. So do y'all like the recorded videos better or do y'all like live videos? Or do you just like to mix it up? It's so intimidating going live. If y'all have never done that before, y'all, it's hard to push that button to go live. I love it though. Y'all make it fun. Y'all don't make me feel scared. Okay, let's paint him some eyeballs here. I started not to paint him any eyeballs, but I thought that may look a little bit weird. So I decided I better. One little dot here. I don't know if it's going to cover when I do my outline. So let me just paint that real quick. Jackie, live is your favorite. I do like live. It's just, you know, you can't mess up. <laughs> What if I say something silly? Okay. Kathy, the great thing is, even though it is live, I usually, well, I think always, I do go back and let them stay on my channel, even if it's live. So if we are on live, then you can just go ahead and hit replay and you can watch it again. Some people don't like all of the talking and everything, but I do. Okay, let's see. Let me, let me go in with some black. I'll go ahead and paint his eyes. I've got to paint his little I've got to paint his little mouth too. We'll make him have a little red tongue.
You can tell I'm concentrating when I get quiet. Sorry. <laughs> Denise, these paints are Arteza paints, and this is the new vintage colors. They are brand spanking new. They came in while I was gone to my son's wedding, and they are on the Arteza website, though. So if you just go in the link that I've got in the description box, you can pick um, and type in vintage. These should come up, but I didn't have a direct link to them yet. They are brand, brand, brand spanking new. I can't forget to go back and paint that red. What do we think about him so far? Cute or nah? I think he's pretty stinking cute. Once I get him all outlined... Put him a little bit of white dot in his eyeballs. He is going to be super duper cute. I do think I want to go back in with some of this sunflower yellow. and Maybe put a little bit of highlight. Just a little bit. I'll pick up some more of that mustard yellow too. Just so that it blends. won't be much, but it'll just highlight some of those places. And of course, I do have a tendency to overdo things slightly. But that's okay. <laughs> what do we think? Any cute? I think he's cute too. <laughs> okay, let's see if this is dry. That is not quite dry, but I'm pretty sure the white that I put on his feathers is dry because it was on it was done with um, on a lot thinner. So I'll go ahead and find one of my flat brushes. Let me paint his little lines here. I'm not going to outline it because I'm going to use my Arteza paint pen to do that. So I just want to get in those lines in between them. I'll worry about outlining it when I'm done. But using a flat brush like this will help your lines to stay straight. You can just put it down and pull it back. The black and the white together is my favorite. I'll finish it off with some buffalo plaid ribbon. He's going to be so cute. Y'all, my mama is here. Y'all say hey to my mama. Thank you, mama. He's so cute. <laughs> my mama's in the house. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Lois. Thank you, Faustine. Thank you, Debbie. 
Y'all, I just love my mama. I want y'all all to help me say a prayer for her tomorrow. She's going to have surgery on her hip. We need to pray that she has no anxiety about it whatsoever. And she is going to wake up feeling like a million bucks. I hate I'm not going to be there with her. Everybody's saying hello to hello to you, Mama. I don't know if Mama's ever watched me live before. Thank you so much, Debbie. My Mama and both of my 80-ish year old grandparents got to come to the wedding for my son and y'all that was such a blessing i was worried mama wasn't going to be able to make it because of her hip but she did and she was a trooper she helped iron like 150 chair covers she was a trooper <laughs> You've just never commented. <laughs> I'm glad you commented. That's how I know you're here, Mama. I may have to bring this with me since we're going to be in Mississippi for Thanksgiving. I'll bring this to my mama so she can put it up at her house. He's so cute. He's really coming together a lot better than I thought he would. Thank y'all so much for her prayers. She's going to be great. I just know it. She's a little bit anxious about it. I keep telling her it's going to be fun. Sylvia, you want that cornbread dressing recipe? Girl, I'm going to sure do it. My memo, y'all. She is the best cook ever. And her cornbread dressing recipe is, oh, it's good. Now, a couple of years ago when I was on my low carb kick, I actually took her recipe and made a low carb version. So I may give y'all both versions. I'm back on my low carb kick again. I feel better when I go low carb. I really have a lot more energy. Thank you, Kathy. I told you he, he kind of went through his little ugly stage. See, y'all gotta y'all gotta trust the process. It's sort of like, you know, that weird, awkward stage that people go through. That's kind of the same way. <laughs> He's coming into his own. I love color. Color makes me happy. Okay, so let's see. That one's white, so this one needs to be black.
Okay, let's see if this is dry. I think this is dry enough. I'll put my red on here and all that's left to do is just to start outlining everything and y'all, he's done. Lois, that's what I'm hoping for. I'm hoping she is just going to come out of this feeling like a million bucks. That's what I'm believing in. I'm claiming it. And when she and I are together, we are known as the shopping queens. Nobody will go shopping with us because we love to shop. We might not buy a whole lot, but we love to shop. If we tell them, if we tell the people in our family we're going shopping, they say, well, we're not going. <laughs> Nobody can keep up with us. I might be wishing I had had a smaller brush for this. But I don't have one at the moment. I didn't grab it before I started. So I'm just going to make this one work. I may have to get quiet for a minute though so I can concentrate. What do we think? I like the red. Oh, Tammy, thank you. That is so sweet of you. Thank you so much. You are so sweet, Tammy. Okay, so tell me when y'all want me to start on Christmas videos. I've got, I know I've got one more project that I want to do for Thanksgiving. And I could do it live, I guess. And then I need to start on Christmas videos. I live at the beach, so a lot of my personal decor is beach themed, but I know not everybody does beach themed. So do y'all want to see farmhouse stuff? Do y'all want to see beach stuff? Like, what do y'all want to see? I want to make videos on what y'all do want to see. Debbie, I'm going to do, it's with the thankful sign that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. That's going to be my next Thanksgiving project. It's going to be super, super cute. It's going to have a Bible verse on it. So it could actually be left out all year long. It would not have to be just for Thanksgiving. What do we think? Debbie, you want to see beach? I love beach. Okay, here, let me go back and put his little whites in his eyes. 
or maybe I'll wait till the end. Yeah, I think I'll wait till the end. So now I want to grab my black pen from my acrylic markers. And I do love these acrylic markers because they are so concentrated and they show up so well. So I'm just going to start outlining. I don't want it to be like all the way. Like I want some of it to show up and some of it not to show up. So I'll kind of like sketch it a little bit. Thank you, Judy. Heather, we love living at the beach. We always vacationed here when my husband and I first got married. And it's so funny because we would we would always look at the houses and, you know, the areas. And we would always tell each other, one day we're going to live here. Well, you know what? That one day finally came. Outlining with this pen is so much easier than trying to do it with your paintbrush. And like I said, I just want that sort of sketch look. I don't really want it to be totally outlined. I want it to be sort of, mm, I don't know, just kind of sketchy, messy. That's another reason it doesn't have to be perfect. Judy, I'm actually going to hang him. So once I get done painting him, I'm going to show you what I've got planned for him. I'm going to put a little hanger on him and I'm going to put this little thankful, that doesn't show up very good. This is one of the little thankful signs from the Dollar Tree that I've gone ahead and painted black. And I think I'm going to hang him on my front door. When I go to my mamaw's house in Mississippi, I'll take him with me. She might decide she wants to keep him. But do you see the difference between what outlining him does? So even though I'm not like super close on all of my edges, when I outline it with my black pen, it just finishes everything off. And when you use this sketching motion, you don't have to worry about your lines being super straight. Thank you. 
be so cute. I need to make sure my glue gun is plugged up. Yep, it is. I think I'm going to add in some buffalo plaid ribbon. That's my thought. We'll see how he looks. Did y'all pick up one of these turkeys? Did y'all paint yours already? I know I'm way behind for the season. So many YouTubers, have they're already on their Christmas stuff. They've got their Christmas stuff out, but just can't do it yet, y'all. Sorry. I'm going to be the oddball here. Hey, Sheila Ryan. Y'all, Sheila Ryan is my neighbor. <laughs> she could just walk over and jump on my live stream with me. Okay, so let me. Let me go in and just put two little dots in his eyes. That's going to just help bring him to life. What do we think? Any precious? So stinking cute. Okay, I'm going to move all of these paints out of the way now. Because I want to show you what I've got planned. So I've got two of these little quarter inch ribbons. And I got this, I think I got the ribbon from Amazon. But I just want to attach my ribbon. And I'll cut off the excess here. Because that's going to help me tie it into the bow that's going to go on the top for the door hanger. Okay, let's see. Oops, I may have done that crooked. Let me get this straight. Okay. I told y'all I'm not an expert. But I do want my ribbons to be straight. Got hot glue stuck to my hand. <laughs> oh, I'm a hot mess, y'all. And I just missed it. Well, I'm using my low temp glue gun here because don't want to burn my fingers. I'll get it straight in a minute. Okay. So now I'll just cut off the excess so you don't see that. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Okay, let me grab my other ribbon here. So 
now I've got this water buffalo plaid. And I'll just take a little pipe cleaner and I'll make a simple little bow. Just make a loop and turn it. I think I just want four. Four little loops. I don't want anything like crazy obnoxious. And I'll use my pipe cleaner to secure that. Now I've just got some little remnants of ribbon. You know, I don't throw anything away. And I'm just going to layer these. Finish off with that one. I'm just going to layer these on top of each other, like crisscrossing. Maybe I'll end with this one. You can use any colors. I just sort of picked out some colors that were in my in my little piece here. And now I'll just put this and use the same pipe cleaner to wrap around those ribbons. And that's what we'll secure it with. So it's just a funny, fun, kind of funky little messy bow just using remnants of ribbon that I had left over in my craft room. So now I've got some more of this little skinny ribbon here. And this is, I think it's quarter inch. Yeah, it's quarter inch ribbon. And I just ordered this off of Amazon. I'll make me a little... This part of my ribbon needs to be cut off. And on the back where these two meet, I'll take my piece of ribbon that I cut off and I'll make those. And then my ribbon will go on the top or my bow will go on the top. And this is a cool shot glue gun, so I'm able to use it and then directly put my finger on it. And then I'll just attach my bow to the top. What do y'all think? Isn't he cute? Let me see if I can get him in one shot. I may have to turn him sideways. I have too much crap on my desk. <laughs> okay, let me see if I can get him turned so y'all can see. Let's clean up this mess. I've got a little um, piece on my front door that I'll hang him by. What do y'all think? Is he cute or what? Are y'all going to go paint one now? Do you love him? If you love him, leave me a thumbs up and leave me a comment. Is there anything that y'all would do different? Would you change? I don't know. I think he's kind of cute just like he is. Thank you, Mama. Kathy, I love the colors too. These are the vintage colors from Arteza and 
all of these are from this collection with the exception of this apple green, which I used from the vivid colors. But I honestly think it needed that little pop of green. I think that just kind of brings it out and makes it just pop even more. Oh, and look, I realized I did not even paint my white in there. Oh, hold on. I just thought we were done. <laughs> I knew I was going to do that. So I wanted to put a little a little line of white because I've got white here and here and I want to bring just a little bit more white so that this is balanced and then I promise I'm done y'all yep definitely needed that it would look super cute in a wreath too. You're going to make a trip to the store, Kathy. I hope you can still find these. I'm kicking myself for not painting him earlier. I just got so wrapped up with wedding stuff that I totally just did not have a chance. Yep. See? That was the finishing touch. I think adding that white totally helps to just balance the whole thing. What do y'all think? Does anybody have any questions? Do you have comments? Are y'all ready to jump off of here? We have been on here. I don't even know how long we've been on here. <laughs> but we've been on here for a good little while. But y'all, he is finished. And I'd love to hear what y'all think. Thank you, Sissy. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Heather. Thank you, Patricia. Thanks, Judy. Thanks, Debbie. Thank you, Mama, for watching. Does anybody have any questions? Look, I got so busy painting that I did not even finish my coffee, so I'm going to have to drink my coffee cold. <laughs> cold black coffee is not my favorite thing in the world. Oh, thank you, Faustine. I hope I pronounced your name right, Faustine. Posting. Can you let me know how to pronounce that properly? Because I don't want to butcher your name. Y'all have been so awesome. Thank you so much. If you joined me from Facebook or from Twitch, that was my first time doing a live feed from both of those. And it was my first time doing a live feed to three places at once. And I just want to say a huge thank you to everybody that watched this whole transformation. Judy, I'm definitely going to order me some of that Wild Mountain Wild Mountain Blueberry Coffee. It sounds awesome. Kathy, the Lakeland, Florida has a great crafting section. Ours over in Panama City across the bridge. They have a great crafting section too, but they're always sold out. Heather, my Facebook page is called Mama Dear City I Lie. And then there's a tab from there that you can click to join my group. But it's called... Um, Dollar Tree, Crafts, Decor, and more. Y'all have been awesome. Thank you so much to everybody that tuned in. If nobody has any other questions, I'm going to jump off here and go grab me something to put in my belly. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. Thank you so much. Alexandria, thank you so much. I'm so glad you got to watch it live. It has been a fun, fun time. I'll be sure to put pictures of this after it's hung on my door so that y'all can see what it looks like all hung up. Kathy, I will definitely do that. Thank you so much. Thank y'all for everybody that is going to say a prayer for my sweet mama as she has her surgery tomorrow. Y'all are so sweet. Debbie, my mama's name is Carol. So if you want to address her directly or say a prayer for her directly, her name is Carol. Thank you so much, Debbie. All right, y'all. If nobody has anything else, I'm going to jump off of here. Until next time, happy DIYing, y'all. <laughs>